If you're gonna perform your own songs on stage with Ableton Live, it's super important that you get your songs formatted correctly before you ever step foot on stage. And one of the most important things is to add a count in so that everyone knows exactly when the song starts and everyone starts together. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add that to your Ableton Live file using free resources that you can download. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, accounting is super important because what you don't wanna do is what I did when I first started using tracks, is basically our drummer counted us off and I sat there with my hand over the space bar on the computer and right when the drummer said three, four, one, I hit space bar on our computer and tried to start tracks with the rest of the band. Now, you could probably guess how well that went. It went awfully uh, and it took like a second and then we kind of got on tracks. We can avoid that awkward moment on stage uh, and we can give everybody a more comfortable experience by knowing, hey, this is the exact song we're on, this is exactly when to start by adding a count into our song. So let's talk about how to do that. So I've got my song put up in Ableton Live. This is an old song I, I wrote many, many years ago. Uh, and if you look at the beginning of this, uh, it just starts right at measure one. And if you're like me, when you write or produce content, you don't uh, think about how you're performing it live on stage. You don't take into consideration, uh, I need two measure counting and a one measure count in, it's perfectly fine, right? Uh, uh, so we're gonna add it now. So what I'm gonna do is go to the beginning of my file here. I'm gonna move my mouse, uh, just click anywhere here, but at the very beginning of my session, and I wanna do Command I. If you're on a PC, that's gonna be Control I. And what that does is that gives you this menu right here, set time to insert. We're going to insert time before our song begins. Now, I think generally two measures is great. Uh, one measure is shorter, which is even better. Uh, if your songs tend to be super uh, slow, maybe stick with one measure because it's less time. Uh, if you kind of go between slow and fast songs, maybe land somewhere in the middle and stick with just two measures. I think it's important to be consistent though. Don't swap between one measure, two measure count in. Uh, if you do, it's super important to do the second step I'm gonna show you in just a moment. So for the sake of this one, let's do uh, two measures. So I'm gonna click here type two and hit okay. Okay, so I've got my two measure count in. Um, I talked about how important this is. Let's play it and let's listen to it. And you hear absolutely nothing. So um, this something seems like it's missing here. The key to making this work well is to add a click track throughout the entirety of your song and make sure for those first two measures, all you're hearing is a click track. And when we're on stage, the, the, the band and everyone on stage, singers, whoever, are gonna be the only ones that hear click and the rest of the audience is just gonna hear your track. So if you need a click to add to your file, then head to fromstudiosage.com slash free. You can download my free click tracks to add into your session. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use Foundations for Live, which um, is included in my basic tracks template, advanced tracks template. Uh, if you become a From Studio to Stage subscriber, you can get that for free. Okay, so uh, let's add a click into our session here. So I'm gonna go to my basic tracks template. I'm gonna go to click. This song is in 4-4. Four, four. So we're gonna click and drag this into our set here. Uh, we're gonna drag this the entire length of our song. Okay, and we'll have it go till right about here. Again, I wanna go to the very end of my song. Uh, and then I'm gonna move my click up to the top here, okay? So I've got my click in. Now using foundations, I'm gonna uh, turn my accent on. I'm gonna turn my 16th off turn my eighth notes up. Uh, and I have multiple click sounds I could use. I could even use my own click sound if I want to, uh, to get that dialed uh, in just right. But again, if you don't have a click that you wanna use for this, then head to fromstudiosage.com slash free to download my free rendered click track. So now let's listen to our count in now. Okay, one, two, three, there's our count in and then our song starts. So with click, again, the band um, only hearing click, the audience not hearing click, that's gonna give everyone a moment to sync up uh, and to start the song on time. But one of the other pro tips, one of the things that I think is super important that's gonna help is when you're standing on stage, hopefully the audience is going crazy, everyone is cheering, hopefully they're not booing and asking you to get off stage. Uh, but sometimes it's very, very easy to get lost in the moment. Sometimes it's very, very easy to, as people are cheering, the adrenaline is high, to kind of go, oh gosh, uh, where are we? You know, what happened? Uh, are we on measure one, measure two of the intro? I can't remember. That's where adding a guide cue or cues or slate tracks, whatever you want to call it, comes in handy and makes it super, super simple. If you need uh, cues, if you need a slate track to add to your file for free, 
guess where you can go from studiostage.com slash free to download my free cue. So uh, I'm gonna be using the basic track template, my guide cue player, but again, you can download those free cues from studiostage.com slash free uh, to follow along. So let's go in here, let's go to our guide cue player. And what I could do, uh, however you wanna do this, you can add in guide cues to count in your intro. Now, uh, if you're in 4-4, I think what's super helpful is to right click and change to a fixed grid of quarter notes. It's just visually gonna make it really easy to add things in. So what I could do here is uh, just drop number one in, and then we'll add in two, right? Same track there, and let's expand this so you can see this, unfold it there. And then we're gonna get a count in here, one, two, three, four, okay? And uh, I'll let you hear what this sounds like in just one moment, let's add number four in here. So let's play this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's gonna uh, perfectly telegraph that intro for me. I know some people that in their cues or slate track, they also include the song name. Uh, maybe they include the first lyric of this. Maybe they include a note to tell the drummer uh, to, to come back and to uh, uh, pay attention, stay focused, whatever it is. You can add information into this track, this slate track, guide cue track, uh, so that when you start that, everyone again knows exactly what's happening. You can be comfortable on stage uh, and put on the best possible performance for the audience. So this is super helpful. One of my favorite things though, and again, you could do everything I showed you here um, uh, by heading to fromstudiostage.com slash free, downloading my free cues, loaded them into your live set. You could customize this too to where I know some people would say like uh, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's particularly helpful if you have like a long stretch, a long count in, a, a, a amount of time counting into your song. Whatever you want to do, you could do there. One of my favorite uh, hacks though is with the guide cue player, I have a, a clip pre-built. Uh, if I'm in four, four for two measures, all I do is just drop that in. And that has all my count ins uh, automatically there, which is great. Again, that's part of the basic tracks template, or you could buy the guide cue player um, uh, on its own for that, which is really, really great. So now we've got our guide cue added into our file, or our, our click track added into our file. And most importantly, we have our count in added into our file so that again, we could press spacebar, no matter what's happening in the moment, everyone's gonna be on the same page. Everyone's gonna start the song together and create the best possible performance uh, for everyone involved, the people on stage and the people listening. Now, if you want some more tips and tricks, if you want some more resources to have the best possible performance, then make sure to head to from studio to stage.com slash free. Again, you can download my click tracks, my cues, uh, time code files, so, so much is available there for you for free. And maybe the best free resource of all is this from Studio to Stage YouTube channel. So if you hit the subscribe button, enable the bell icon every single day, I basically don't sleep. Every single day, 10 a.m. Central, I post a brand new tutorial for free for you to show you how to have the best possible experience performing on stage with Ableton Live. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.